next witness is Mr. Richard Clark, who served as a former national coordinator for counterterrorism at the National Security Council. In a scathing indictment, former White House counterterrorism advisor Richard Clark accuses the president of ignoring the threat from Al Qaeda until after 9-11. You know, Dick Clark. Dick Clark who was the head of the counterterrorism program in the run-up to 9-11. Um, he obviously missed it. Holy <laughs> Did he just blame 9-11 on Dick Clark? Your government failed you. And I failed you. Intelligence is meant to warn about things before they happen, and repeatedly U.S. intelligence has failed to do that. God forbid we're wrong, we're going to be responsible for the war. When the towers came down, people say the world changed forever. It sure did. We were attacked on our own territory, and that scares me. People were in the White House that night saying, this will allow us to attack Iraq. We'd gone into Kuwait. We then went into Somalia, into Haiti, into Bosnia, into Kosovo, into Afghanistan, and finally Iraq in little more than 10 years. So you have to ask yourself, how can we do this so often and yet do it so bad? The duty must be to act on conscience. I still kind of go with that. That's what I fought for. The future security of the United States through cyber space. The Chinese actually hacked their way into the inner parts of the Pentagon, all the way up to the office of Secretary of Defense Robert Gates. Because the threat didn't involve body bags, because things didn't blow up, the government failed to understand it. What happens if blood types are scrambled? Reservation information for all the airlines is scrambled. We'll have a lack of faith and trust in the information systems that we use every day for everything we do. We're not going to win this with bullets and bombs. We will never completely eliminate terrorism, but we can suffocate it with the strength of our own values, the Constitution and laws and protecting people. Government has to be transparent, tell the people what isn't working, and tell them what you're going to do about it. It has to come from a place of really believing for, about public service and really believing about the American people and really wanting to turn things around. We're talking about people in the government, emergency responders, saving lives, making how much? 40, 50, 60. Yeah. Is, is, this, is something wrong with the system? <laughs>